guys it's Omir here welcome back to my channel so yeah today is the first of January 2017 so before anything else I'd like to wish each and every one of you guys a happy new year oh my god where did 2016 go right like I mean oh my gosh 2016 has been an awesome year for me so I can't wait for what 2017 has to offer and I actually have a bunch of ideas for the videos that I wanted to do this year and I decided to do the Filipino tag as the very first video for 2017 because why not? First of all, I'm a Filipina and I'm very proud of it hence the title of my channel which is called Pinay in Sydney and oh my gosh, why am I talking so fast? Probably because I'm just so excited so yeah, anyway, if um, you guys uh, didn't know what the Filipino tag is. It's a series of questions about Filipino culture, Filipino heritage, Filipino food, and yeah, all the nitty gritty and all the juicy stuff about being a Filipino. So this video is probably the first ever video that I have watched here on YouTube. So I can't wait to, you know, yeah, film this one as well. And if you guys enjoy watching these types of videos like I do, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, it would mean the world to me if you can subscribe here on my channel. Please hit the subscribe button below so yeah, you can get notified every time I upload new videos. And also, if you can please follow me on my other socials as well like Instagram. And yeah, be my friend on Facebook. So I'll probably link them somewhere here below for you to... yeah. Check me out. It's Mara. It's Elmira. It's Pinay in Sydney. So yeah, let's get started with the Filipino tag. Yeah, I have my um, mom's iPad here next to me so I can read the questions easily for you. So the first question is, when was the last time you were in the Philippines? So the last time I was in the Philippines was a few months ago, probably six or seven months ago. I was there mid-June 2016. but I was only there for like a week or so because yeah I didn't have much holidays and I really wanted to see my auntie so the reason why I was there was to you know like see my auntie so the last time I saw her was in 2013 so yeah I kind of missed her so I went back to the Philippines just for a week but I must say it was short and sweet so no regrets of me going back there for a short period of time question number two name a Filipino food that you enjoy eating and why. So no doubt that this will be halo halo. <laughs> halo halo is a Filipino dessert uh, which has shaved ice, milk, leche flan, ube, um, coconut jellies, uh, nata de coco, um, beans, uh, jackfruit, I think you put jackfruit, and ice cream and leche flan as well. Did I say leche flan? I'm not sure, but yeah, it has leche flan or creme caramel and ice cream as well. And it's very yum and I can eat it all day, every day. Why not, right? Yum, yeah. So halo halo, definitely halo halo. Question number three. Name two Filipino household items that best resembles our culture. I was gonna say tabo and chinelas. Um, but we have a bidet here in Sydney so <laughs> I'd probably say spoon and fork I grew up eating using my hand or the spoon and fork so in the Philippines we use spoon and fork even when we're eating pork chops lamb cutlets or beef steaks it doesn't matter if we eat porridge if we eat rice we always use the spoon and fork I remember like when we first migrated here in Sydney and every time we go out to eat at a restaurant I'd still ask for a spoon and fork not a knife and a fork a spoon and fork so yeah good memories good memories very funny but good memories and question number four do you know how to speak Tagalog if so say a phrase or two hells yeah of course I do know how to speak Tagalog. 17 na ako nung nag-migrate kami dito sa Sydney. Kaya yun, alam ko pa. Magaling na magaling ako mag-Tagalog. Of course, ako pa. 
Question number five, which part of the Philippines are you from? I was actually born in Makati, Metro Manila, but I grew up in a province called Nueva Ecija and the specific suburb was called Gimba. Best place, best place. Good memories too. Question number six, do you live in the Philippines? No, I don't live in the Philippines. I actually live here in Sydney, Australia, but whenever I get the chance, I always go back to the Philippines. It's like a magnet, you know, like instead of going to another country for a holiday, I always, you know, like end up going to the Philippines because I get homesick all the time and I'm so lucky that my husband understands and he doesn't mind going back there as well. He actually loves it there and the red horse and the food and the people and my cousin and the rest of my family. Love you all. So question number seven. What is a stereotype about Filipinos? Um, there's actually few, but right off the bat, I think everyone thinks that Filipinos can sing and second, Filipinos are good cooks. So not so much me either. I mean, my mom can sing and cook really well, but me, salsa, yeah, not so much. Question number eight, do you own a karaoke machine? I mean, who asked this question, right? Come on, we're fellows. Between me and my mom, my mom's got two karaoke machines and she gave me her old one. So yeah, between the two of us, we've got three, three karaoke machines. So yeah, we do own a karaoke machine. Question number nine. Mm, I don't think it's actually a question. It says, sing your favorite Filipino song in brackets yes sing i was like oh my god this is going to be embarrassing i can't sing oh my gosh i can't sing so yeah um i have a few tagalog songs that i really like and a lot of them remind me so much of my high school years can't think of anything right now, so I'll probably just sing whatever. So, um, Bakit ngayon kalang dumating sa buhay ko? Pilit pinupuksan ang sarado ko ng puso. Ikaw ba ay nararapat sa akin? At siya ba'y dapat ko nang limutin? Nais kong malaman, bakit ngayon ka lang dumating? <laughs> How embarrassing! Well, yeah, anyway, I did it. Ha ha ha. Don't, don't watch this, mom. I'm quite an embarrassment. Question number 10. Have you tried balot? <laughs> I'm not sure. I probably have tried balot. I mean, I remembered eating something when I was younger, I guess. But I didn't think it was the balot that had that little duck inside. I think I had the one that they called the balot penoy, um, which only had the egg yolk, like just the yolk inside. Like it didn't have the fetus of the duck inside so yeah but i mean who knows you know like i'm going to the philippines next month so i'll probably give it a go let's see we'll try if i get enough courage to yeah eat it question number 11 do you eat goldilocks on a regular basis mm, no i don't unfortunately we do not have goldilocks here in sydney or anywhere in australia to be exact but from time to time my husband and i we go to the filipino shop or an asian shop called um tongli here and they actually sell the goldilocks um uh what's that called um pulveron and yeah that's the only time i get to eat goldilocks or when we go back to the philippines i love their monai the ensaymada the cakes and everything else so yeah I take advantage of it every time I go back to the Philippines. And now we come down to the last question. Question number 12. 
Are you inseparable from your family? Am I inseparable from my family? Ah, yes, I am very much inseparable from my family. I love my family so much. I ring my mom every single morning, every time I drive to work. And yeah, sometimes at night I call her up and we get to hang out most of the time, just shopping, you know, like pampering. And I always, you know, like go to her house and eat big out and yeah just spend time with her and also with my um cousins we actually have a group on facebook where we always video chat where we always you know like share photos and all the things the new things that's happening with our lives and yeah i guess that concludes it i am definitely inseparable with my family and that's it guys that's the last question on this um filipino tag i hope you guys enjoyed it and as always i'll see you guys next time paalam